Hello everybody, this is Party PD, and welcome to a very special kind of video. I don't really do a lot of these kinds of videos often, but uh, I just saw what you could probably see in the background here, because, you know, green screen, all fancy and stuff like that. Plus, it doesn't help that, I guess, white goes through a little bit. You kind of saw it right there, basically. Yeah, we're going to talk about these, because, guess what? I found them at the gas station. So, we're going we're gonna to try them out. Basically, so the ones I've got here because I know there's four total flavors. There was the zero sugar, this one here. here go, and then we got the normal one, and then we got the cherry one. And I know there's a zero sugar cherry one, but uh, the gas station didn't have those, and for some reason our grocery store doesn't have them yet. But anyway, I wanted to do a review on these basically and see if they were any good. So, with that being said, uh, we've got three of them here, and, um, I mean, what, the daily caffeine count you're supposed to have is, like, about 500, 600, something like, we're not supposed to. The amount that you can drink without having any sort of fatal possible problems is approximately five to 600. Now, in at least the cherry can, it might be different in each can, but I highly doubt it, there's 114 milligrams of caffeine. And the zero sugar has 114, and the normal one has 114. Now, go to the cherry one here. If you look at the calories and stuff on it. It's got 140 calories, 39 carbs with 39 total sugars, with 39 included added sugars. And I, I, I'm pretty sure the exact same thing for the other one. Yeah, so both of these, not really the greatest if you're trying not to drink a lot of soda because this is basically just drinking another kind of death energy drink in a sense so uh yeah you probably want to still try to stay away from those a little bit but then uh you got the, the sugar-free one which is zero calories uh no carbs and no sodium but of course you're risking the chance of drinking some weird sort of chemical that most diet drinks usually have so i'm gonna leave the zero sugar one for last and uh, we're going to go for the normal one first. So, we're just tasting them. We're not going to drink the whole thing. Except I'm going to drink the whole thing once we're done, basically, with the video. Well, you could definitely taste the stuff they put in there for the energy portion. It doesn't taste like a normal Coke, that's for sure. A little bit more smooth. Um, go ahead again. Yeah, it's not as carbonated as like a normal soda, I would say. Maybe if you like chilled it in a different way, it could be just as carbonated as a normal soda, but it, it feels like it's, um, it's pretty smooth. You could definitely tell the difference in like a normal energy drink than like this, this one in particular. I guess what I'm saying is, is that if I were to drink one of these, basically, this is a green monster, by the way. You can't see it because it goes through. You can, there, you can see the label. You drink one of those, you could tell, and it's, it's sli has that slight carbonation. This does not have that slight carbonation. Except it does. It has carbonation, but it's not as carbonated as, as most energy drinks are that try to get at you. Some of them you can buy that aren't carbonated, but uh, no, this one's pretty good. Uh, you could definitely taste like the normal Coke in it. It's like it's just smooth Coke, basically. It's like a smooth Coke with like you could taste the well. What does it say on the front here? I can't remember the name of it. Guarana. I guess it's like their fancy ginseng in a sense, because uh, a lot of people put ginseng in their energy drinks that you usually end up getting people hooked onto them. All right, anyway, with that being said, uh, I definitely like the normal one. It's smooth. It, it just, it's, it's just unexpected kind of flavor. Unexpected. Yeah, most of the time I don't do uh, videos in full cam. As you can see with how many times the camera has to update. Anyway, now we're going to try the cherry one, which uh, I'm more excited about because I've always been a fan of drinking cherry Coke. So immediately I could tell there's a significant difference between the two. I could say without a doubt, this is basically just drinking like another Coke. And then the cherry one, you could indefinitely taste the cherry. So there's a huge outlying difference between both the standard energy Coke and the cherry Coke. Hands down. Like the cherry Coke, 
I think the cherry Coke is better. The cherry energy Coke. Same kind of smooth. Uh, same amount of carbonation, I'd say. So light carbonation. Yeah, you can, you can so much taste the difference between the cherry Coke and the normal Coke in every single way, shape, and form. Now, last but uh, probably least as well, because most things with white shirt is going through the green green screen. I don't understand how this works. Maybe because it's a white background to this uh, this deal here. All right, last one, the uh, zero sugar one. I'm sure this will taste differently because it's got no sugar in it. I think I can already smell the difference. It tastes like Diet Coke. It tastes like Diet Coke. That's pretty much it. There's actually, you can't even tell if there was like the special guarana in there. It actually just tastes like straight up Diet Coke. Well, um, I could say without a doubt, out of the three possible options that I have here, because again, I know that there was a zero sugar um, cherry version, but I did not see it or have it at where I was able to buy it. But uh, I could say without a doubt, stick with the normal cherry Coke. Because it still has flavor, it's still nice, it's still smooth. Um, I'd say like the zero sugar actually isn't that bad if you've had Diet Coke before. And then like, cause you know, like I said, there's 140 calories with uh, 77% total sugar with 39 g grams of carbs in the normal one. So you're drinking 40 carbs in one <clears throat> one of these shots, and. Uh, a lot of the, the drinks I'm starting to get into have, like, little to no carbs in it. So, uh, I could say without a doubt that Coke Energy uh, did a really good job on them. Uh, the, it was a big, like, scary thing when Coke Energy started to talk about the fact they were going to release Coke Energy. And then they did. And uh, nothing really happened afterwards. So, I, get, I could say that uh, Coke Energy did a nice job. And... Uh, I look forward to drinking more Cokes in the future. Because I wasn't really a fan of Diet Coke, but uh, I think I could be a fan of this. And if I find the cherry ones, I'll be a huge fan of it. But uh, anyway, I mean, hell, if Coke Gaming ends up seeing this video, sponsor me. No, I'm just kidding. I drink a lot of these a day, not these ones. Again, this is the first time I've seen the Coke Energies. But, uh, yeah, overall, I think they're pretty good. If I were to give it on a scale of 10, I'd probably give it, like, an 8. Maybe a 7.5. Somewhere in between there. I wouldn't give it a high ranking, basically. Because there's a lot of energy drinks out there that uh, already are combating with the fact that Coke exists in the first place. And then there's Monster. And then there's Rain. And then there's Bang. And then there's uh, Rockstar. Uh, Red Bull. I don't know, like, Venom? I don't even think that's even on the list anymore. There's a lot of energy drinks out there, but since Coke already has a pretty good standing with everything they've ever done, uh, I could say without a doubt that Coke uh, made a good decision on making an energy drink because everybody drinks Coke already. That's like putting another foot in the door in front of Pepsi and saying, yeah, because they made the the Mountain Dew Gamer Fuels. Yeah, that's a no. These ones are way better than a Mountain Dew Gamer Fuel. Sorry, Mountain Dew and Mountain Dew League. We're going to see a Coke leak soon. No doubt. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this completely random video. Again, this is like the first time in a long time I've done the full face cam for a whole video before. But uh, I could say without a doubt, buy Coke Energy. It's good. Um, if you're trying not to put on the 40-something carbs that come from a normal one, I do say that the zero sugar ones are actually good. They're actually not that bad. I'm sure if I find the cherry ones that I could say they're even better. Because, again, cherry Coke, best way to go. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this random review video. Maybe that's what we'll call the title. Random reviews. But anyway, we will see you next time for some more action in the esports or, I guess, drink consumption world. It's a weird, I don't know how to leave this one out. But uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time for more stuff on the PD Gaming channel. Friday PD, signing off.
Initiate the generic outro message number one. Hello, everybody. This is Party BD. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time for some more videos out here on the PD Gaming channel. Make sure to subscribe, follow, etc. Leave stuff in the comments. Blow up the comments. Who cares? We'll see you next time for some more videos. Party PD, signing off. I already did this probably at the end of the video, too, but you know what I mean.